This right here has to be one of my absolute favorite pieces of kit and you should definitely check it out as well. I picked this bit of kit up about six months ago. I'd seen it everywhere on social media when it came to digital art and I had to try it out. I'm always a sucker for trying new things. You never know what you're gonna get and I was very pleasantly surprised. This is the Aoktai second generation Procreate keyboard and it is an absolute game changer. I've had a lot of people ask me about this and I really, really love it. It's very versatile, very small and essentially it controls everything you're gonna do on Procreate. Well, almost everything, not quite everything. There are about 20 pre-programmed functions on this keyboard here. And I must admit, they're probably the most versatile ones anyway. They're the ones you'd want on a keyboard as well. There's maybe only one or two things that I wish that it had that it doesn't, but that's probably just me as well being very, very picky. So let's have a bit of a talk about what this keyboard is and some of the functions that it comes with. So let's read directly off the website. I wanna get this 100% right. And also this is not a paid video at all. I bought this with my own money. I really wanted to give you the honest upfront opinion of this and give it a little bit of a review as well. So they stayed on the website. Uh, that is the perfect companion for Procreate on the iPad and it's been designed specifically for that. So that's a good start. You can easily cut, copy, paste, and control the size of your brush. And you can do this all with one hand using this keyboard. The website does state that it's got a working distance of up to 400 inches. I don't really think you'd be using this any further away than that from your Procreate. Most of the time it's gonna be right next to the device, maybe about an inch away. But it is good to know that it can work up to longer distances. It's made really well as well. In an ideal world, a lot of people might say they want this to be made of metal. If it's made of metal, it's going to be a lot heavier. Uh, it's a pretty solid plastic design. I've had no problems with it. It's been chucked in my bag a hundred times already. Uh, it's gone with me everywhere that I've gone and it's been very, very versatile and has not even looked like cracking or breaking once. So I can definitely vouch for the quality and construction of this piece. Just to be clear, the website does state it's made of a high quality ABS plastic. So if that's important to you, please keep that in mind. Something very, very interesting to note about the keyboard, it says the new generation of keyboard, which is the one they're currently selling this one here, also has an OTA system upgrade function. You can reset the shortcut keys according to your needs in the future. This is not something I've done yet, but it's something I'm very interested in doing moving forward in the future, because as I mentioned, I'll talk about it a little bit later. There are maybe one or two features that I really would like to see on here. So maybe that's a video in the future when I figure out exactly how to do that. But at the moment, let's talk about what's built into it straight out of the box. The website does state that it's got a significantly long battery life, which I can definitely vouch for. It is really nice as well. There is a separate power on off switch on the side here, which is really, really nice when you're not using it. Obviously turn it off, pop it away. And I have been very pleasantly surprised at exactly how long this battery has lasted me. The website does state that it takes about two hours to fully charge, which is exactly what I got. And it does say up to 84 hours of battery use once it is charged, which is probably why I have only really charged it once. So if battery life is something you're worried about, you're gonna actually be charging your iPad more than you charge this Procreate keyboard. The website does state how ergonomic this keyboard is and having used this for a long time now, I can definitely vouch for that. It does have a nice profile, which allows the device to sit up on a little bit of an angle, which is really, really nice. So sitting next to the iPad, uh, it is a really nice companion piece. I have seen some reviews where they've talked about how big uh, that angle is and the need for this large size here. Uh, but then again, that's gonna house the battery and I would rather have this and extended battery life uh, rather than having it really, really small and needing to charge it all the time. So for me, that is not a worry at all. All right, that's about enough from the website. I will leave a link below so you can go and check it out for yourself. Let's have a bit of a talk about my experience with it and some of the things I've found along my journey with this Procreate keyboard. We've already covered what it is and how it works. Very simple, turn it on on the side and after that very first Bluetooth pairing, you're gonna have no problems at all. You will need to go into the Bluetooth settings in order to pair this up, but once it's paired up the first time, you'll never have to worry about pairing it up again and I've had no worries at all. Every single time I've turned this device on, it's connected straight to my iPad after about three seconds. Now let's have a bit of a talk about the user interface, one of the most important features of a device like this. I really love the layout here. Again, there's no right or wrong answer to this because it is such a specific device for Procreate. It is really just gonna take you a little bit of time to remember where everything is. So in the first couple of weeks, there was quite a lot of times where I would actually look down at the device, but that's gonna be normal on a keyboard uh, with this many keys. So the user interface gets a massive tick from me. I'm gonna give it 
8 out of 10. As I said, there would be one or two more things that I'd like to see on here, but it's not the end of the world. And as I said, there are possibilities to upgrade this like it states on the website. So I will dive into that more over the next couple of weeks and bring you a video on that. Next question I've been getting quite a bit from a few friends and fellow digital artists is, do I actually use it? Because again, I really like to buy things and try them out. And I can definitely say this keyboard has become a permanent fixture in my workflow. What you see right here is exactly what I roll with almost on a daily basis. The only time I don't really tend to use this is when I'm sketching, when I'm on public transport, and maybe there's someone sitting next to me. I just don't have the room to use that controller, but every other time I'm using Procreate, this is right by my side, and it really does help speed things up. Now, when we're looking at a device like this, you're probably wondering how much this costs, and there are a couple of different brands on the market doing controllers like this. This controller currently on their website, which will be linked down below, is on sale for $32.99 USD, which is around 48 to 50 Australian dollars. And that is fantastic. A controller of this quality and that does the amount of functions that this does, I'm happy to pay that all day long. And as I said, even if this only lasted me for six months, I still would have been happy with that price. But this is something that's gonna last me an extremely long time. It's got fantastic battery life. It's easy to use and I enjoy using it, which is the most important thing. And the final question about the Aokitai Procreate keyboard is should you buy one? I can't really answer that question for you. It's a very hard one. It's gonna be very specific to your situation. If you are someone who does a lot of sketching or you just create a lot of digital art or you're always in Procreate, this could be a massive time saver for you. And it really helps that workflow when you're in wanting to move very seamlessly between lots of different things within Procreate this controller could come in super handy. Overall, I'm gonna give this controller an 8.5 out of 10. That's quite high, but again, I've had no problems with it. It fits seamlessly into my workflow. It's something I enjoy using. I barely have to charge it. It's always there in my bag. It makes my life easier in Procreate, and anything that's gonna do that gets a massive tick from me. I think you should give it a go. So get out there, see what you think. Leave me some comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next video.